Good morning. I just brushed my teeth. Good morning, you guys. So today is Saturday now. It's the day after Black Friday. I don't even know what. I think it's the 24th, I think. <laughs> or it might be the 25th today, y'all. Time is just flying, so I don't know. But this is my first official time, like, opening up the camera to talk. Because everything that I've been filming has been pretty much, like, just videos and stuff like that. Um, Like, B-roll or not really showing my face but as y'all know i have not picked up the camera and uploaded a video well i've been picking up the camera but i have not uploaded a video in a while um it started out because let's just have a talk real quick y'all okay let me put my foot it's cold out here <laughs> so it started out the twins were sick so when i had told y'all that the twins were sick and they end up having, they both had an upper respiratory infection. Then I got sick. And then it seemed like even now, like yesterday, I kept taking like Theraflu and drinking, I mean, drinking Theraflu and taking hauls and stuff because it seems like every week it's something with like my sinuses, my, it's just something. And I just have not been feeling my best. I really have not and it's not even just like being sick it's like my health in general i could tell it's certain things that i need to target like for example my back has been in really bad bad pain and i used to go to a chiropractor every week because when i was younger you know how when you was younger they used to have bring people to school and give you a test to see if you had scoliosis they told me that i would have scoliosis so now that i'm older it's definitely affecting me now um and i stopped going to the chiropractor just because of time really um so i need to start going back because my back has been really 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 bothering me and if you have had back pain then you know how much it can have an effect on just like how you feel because it's like think about it your back like it supports your body you know so then i finally made an appointment to go see a podiatrist because remember i told y'all that my my toe i had bruised my toe maybe like months and months and months ago i don't even know how long it's been at this point it might have been a year ago but i thought that it would just heal on its own but it's not and it keeps bothering me and it keeps hurting once again something else that is affected you know how you feel you walking and stuff and then just honestly you guys like hold on mentally i have not been in the best place i feel like I started vlogging and YouTube and everything like that because I wanted to show that you can still do what you're passionate about and what you love, even if you have children. Um, but I feel like nowadays it's really starting to take a toll on me. And I, I have a huge responsibility in it as well because it's days where I have the time to do stuff. And I just don't feel up to it. And I feel like right now what I'm struggling with the most is balancing everything. Because I feel like if I put my if I put a lot into my content, then something else is getting neglected in the household. And I feel like right now it's just all over the place, y'all. Like the house need to be straightened up. The the kids was getting sick. I kept getting sick. Then my job started requiring us to go back into the office. It's only one day a week, but still, it's still a lot. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not a lot because I know some people got to go every day, but it's just to work that into your schedule after you have not been in the office for, what, three years at this point. And then on top of that, the twins, you know, they're toddlers, they're getting older and they're just into everything. And then now their dad has um, every weekend until next year. He isn't able to help me with the twins. You know, I don't want to go into too much of what he got going on because that's his business and you never know who's watching, honey. But he isn't going to be able to help me with the twins um, on Saturday and Sundays. So that's just like, ugh, because it's like, even though they go to daycare, you know what I'm saying? Yes, they go to daycare, but I'm still working during the week and then the weekends come and that's like time where I can kind of like, do what I need to do without having like I don't just leave him with the twins but you know what I'm saying like hey I'm about to run to the store hey blah, blah, blah. so 
it's just been quite an adjustment and I feel like I definitely had hit a creative block because I feel like I had so much going on in my personal life that I just did not know how to come up here and create content and it's like I didn't want to come up here and fake the funk and be like everything is fine and you well y'all know I wouldn't do that anyway y'all know I would let y'all know like something is you know things is going on but I didn't even want to push myself to come up here when I know I, how I was feeling. It's so cold out here. My coffee already getting cold. But over the past month and some change, um, so we celebrated my son's birthday. My son Noel turned nine. So I'll insert a little bit of footage from that. We took him to Hunt Club Farm and we also took him to a hibachi steakhouse because that's what he wanted to do for his birthday. <laughs> He said, what did I do? Oh, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> you did nothing, bro. You just here. You had him, right? The whole walk. You had him. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got a good one. on, Mama, you got two good boys on your hand. You Thank you. Good. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. You too. Elijah! Yeah. Happy birthday to Noel. Welcome to Sumo. I wish I could be an appetizer bar right now. Okay, happy birthday. Make a wish. <laughs> What you wish for? What you wish for? I always like teachers and so good. Make a wish. Make a wish. Yep. Alright, happy birthday. Is that gum chicken? Huh? Is that gum chicken? Yes, I'm chicken. That's a good chicken. White meat. Yeah. I don't know what that one is. Yes, sir. We celebrated Halloween. I end up getting my nails done for Halloween, y'all, and they're still on my nails. We are past Thanksgiving. Do y'all see my nails? They look horrendous. Okay. Um, I just didn't have y'all. I'm telling y'all, I just been my head been running around like a chicken. Okay, I have not gotten my nails done yet, but I got my nails done for Halloween. I just got like kind of like a French tip spider web type thing. <coughs> yeah, but my cute girl, they look bad. Mm, they look bad. And then we celebrated um Halloween, but on Halloween we actually didn't really do anything. I think Halloween was on a Tuesday. But the kids, they were able to get candy and stuff like that because their rec center that they go to um, did like Halloween parties and trunk or treat and stuff like that. And then the twins had a character day. You know how they try not to say Halloween, but they had a character day party at their daycare. So I dressed them up. And then fast forward to Thanksgiving. Cause I don't think nothing else really happened after that. Fast forward to now, so we celebrated. We celebrated Thanksgiving at my mom's this year. I did not cook, and I. Yeah, chicken. 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 Yeah, Oh, the green You got to cut them up. I cut them up. No, you didn't. You got to cut them up more than that. That was too small. I cut them up small. But small, they ain't small. Like, we cut them. Yes, okay. Yes. You say you want to know. I said I cut them up small. The food was delicious. Any other critiques? Coming from you? We cut them up. A little smaller than anything, that. Anything else? Man, you just learned. Everything else was fine. Everything else was fine. That's it. The food was delicious. Wait a minute. Who did the macaroni and cheese? I did. That was real good. 
for Christmas. I am not doing a Christmas party. Um, last year would have been the second year that I did a Christmas pajama party, but I'm not doing it this year, y'all. It's just too much going on. Too much going on financially, too much going on mentally, too much going on physically. It's just too much going on, and time is flying. And the way that food costs right now, I am not about to spend a whole bunch of money on just a party like nah. So I'm not doing it this year. Um, I still need to get Christmas gifts, but we did enjoy um, Thanksgiving at my mom's. The food was delicious, honey. I got my leftover plate in the fridge, and I'm gonna eat that today. Okay, because you know we're creeping up on time. It's been Thursday now, it's Saturday, so yeah. Um, and then yesterday, me and my sister went to this place called Bay Local. Um, for brunch which they have such good food when i went there y'all well we didn't even eat like an actual entree we only got appetizers because i really like i i feel like every time i go there i be wanting the the crab it's like the crab dip and then that ends up filling me up and i don't be wanting whatever else i got so. yesterday i literally came home and i just laid down for the rest of the day um the, the the twins dad took them over to his hometown so i kind of had like a day to relax but today well the twins is in there today is saturday y'all so you know i gotta deal with the kids all day by myself but um the twins are in there eating oatmeal so that's why i'm out here drinking my coffee today i do want to Go ahead and clean up some more um i just feel like every time i like that's another thing that has been just irritating me because i feel like every time that i clean up it get right back dirty like y'all help me come up with a system because i don't know what to do i know i'm grown and i know that you know what i'm saying it's not my first rodeo with toddlers but i just feel like this is my first rodeo with twins and i just feel like y'all Jesus Lord help me like I tell you like yesterday y'all when that when he had the twins with him I cleaned up right so the floor was clear no toys no nothing the moment they came home it's like I just sat there and watched Khalil pull out stuff throw it all over the floor y'all so stuff right back on the floor so I told their dad that the front room that's empty i'm gonna show y'all but the front room that's empty needs to be converted into a playroom for them and we need to get like the gates so that they can't leave out of that area we're gonna put a tv up to mount because i i'm i, I can't do it okay i can't do it i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired and it's, it used to be a point in my life where i everything was just always i can't drink this no more it's too cold I feel like I always wanted to have like this organized life and never had it. And like, I, I truly, truly, truly know that when your house is not in order, house, car, whatever, it just causes anxiety. It just gives you just, y'all, it just really does. It just creates chaos in your mind. And I feel like that's why I'm always like up and down, up and down, up and down because I always try to have order in the house. Like when the kids is in school or in daycare, I be feeling like, dang, okay, now I can get order in the house. The moment they come home, the order, it's just, it seems like I never can get a long period of organization. So that's what I, that's what I want. A long period of organization because I want to decorate my home, y'all. Like it's just so much that I want to do, but yeah, I just want to decorate my home and yeah, so anyway i also got this um it's called a dji osmo mobile 6 so i'm gonna show y'all because i did it unbox.
but that's what I have y'all on right now. Um, and I love it, y'all, because y'all know that I do. See, I'm turning y'all with a little knob. <laughs> y'all know I do a lot of um, filming on my... Now, where you going, baby? Come on now. I ain't say... Where you going? Okay. Y'all know I do a lot of um, filming on my phone when I go out into the stores and stuff. And it's like, I don't be liking it sometimes because not even just with my phone, even with my camera too, it's like shaky. You know what I'm saying? Cause you trying to move around and stuff. So, and I don't really like carrying my camera out because it just causes too much attention. This causes attention too. Cause people be like, what you recording? And why is it on the tripod thing? But it, it it's not as bad as camera. And I feel like, I be like, nowadays, people just, like, do y'all not know that that is just the way now? Social media, like, social media, phone, people recording stuff, people doing reviews. People, like, y'all, yeah, that's the way. But I'm still trying to get over my anxiety with that, y'all, because I for sure haven't. I don't like when people put attention on me. And that, and I try, I'm trying to get to the point where I stop saying that because I'm really, really working on what I say out my mouth. And I just feel like, how can I have a problem with having attention on me if I aspire to have a platform? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't go hand in hand. So, you, I have to get comfortable with the attention. Um, but I did an unboxing for y'all. I do want to watch the tutorial for it because I want to learn the ins and outs of it. Because I do be setting it up and be looking like an amateur because I don't know what I'm doing. But I did have a gimbal before, but it was for my camera and I never could figure it out, y'all. Because, you know, the gimbal, if you know, like a gimbal, you have to, it like pretty much holds your camera steady so it won't be shaky. And like this one, it comes with the different buttons and stuff. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Um, So that's the plans for today. So pretty much like just send it to the twins, cleaning up, getting the house in order. I mean, their dad, he's finished doing what he's doing at six. So it's not like all day, like 24, like it's not like the entire weekend I won't have help. It's just from until 6 p.m. So, but that's still all. <laughs>
So while I'm waiting on that to seep, y'all. So this tea, it says packed with, listen, honey, adogenic herbs and roots. This deliciously grounding herbal blend is intended to provide center and balance. Well-deserved self-care is just a few drops. I mean, a few deep breaths and soothing sips away. And it has a whole bunch of different stuff in there. Rhodiola root, ashwagandha, roasted dandelion, cinnamon, da, 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 da. So it's supposed to relax you. What really made me get it was the ashwagandha. Um, because I know ashwagandha really relaxes me. Um, I was taking the Goli gummies. But I don't have any, so this is going to do. My throat is really, really bothering me, y'all. So I'm going to let this seat for a little bit. And then, yeah, it's Kehlani. And then I'm going to drink it. Yes. Say hi. The night. I don't watch Toy Story one, two, three, and four so much. I know the words. Anyway, y'all, TV in the back being loud. You know, I got the twins. They're eating right now. But I wanted to test out my DJI Osmo Six, so I unboxed it with you all. I want to see what I what I want to see is while I'm making my coffee because it's supposed to track humans and objects yesterday i tested it out with kehlani it, re it did really good with tracking her even with her moving it was tracking her so i want to see like if i make my coffee and as i'm moving my cup will it follow just to test it out you know but um so far so far i really really like oh, my phone up. this is the tripod part of it and it just sits like that but you can also screw this part off and just carry it as a handheld so i just gotta pull this part up and as soon as you pull it up it just turns it on automatically oh wait where's my hold on wait y'all so it comes with this phone clamp and you just put this on your phone like so and then i just automatically connect it to the magnet it's like a magnet y'all see that right there connect it like that and then it's turned on so this button right here i see that i could press that twice to change it from portrait to landscape uh-huh and then um let me see where i could open the app But I'm actually gonna, and then if I press this button, y'all see this button in the back? Can y'all see it? It's like a little button trigger in the back. So if I press that, it's supposed to automatically track whatever I want it to track. So we're gonna try for it to track this cup. As I'm making my coffee, I wanna see if it's gonna move with me. Okay? Okay, auto track. No, no, no. I'm supposed to be able to move this box. So what I wanted to track. What in the world? Hold on, y'all. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So auto track. 
Active track performance will be affected if subject within focus is not clear when using manual focus. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Ah, I'm still learning, y'all. Oh, okay. Auto track. So this is, how do I move this box, though? That's what I'm trying to do. I want to, oh, I just, okay, okay. Because that's what, okay, so I just drag my finger over whatever. Y'all saw that? Did y'all see that? Can y'all even see, honey? So this is what I want to track right here. That. So, I'm going to press the button once. And then I just drag my finger over what I want it to track. Oh, wait. I want it to be this whole thing. Okay, that's what I wanted to track. So now I'm going to press record. So now we're going to see if the camera moves with me. And let's see. Ah, it's moving on. Okay, so let's see as I'm making my coffee. What is this open like this? Can you go down any? Oh, I guess it can't go down anymore. Can it go up some more? Yeah, go down some more. Okay, now it's going down. Okay, so this is right here, a good point right here. <laughs> so cool. And then, it's like if you take it away, it's supposed to be that if you take it away, <clears throat> say for instance, I move this out the frame, it's supposed to now, it's looking for it. Like you see, it got a red box. So I'm supposed to bring it back in the frame. And it's supposed to pick it back up, but it ain't doing it with the coffee mug that good. But it did it real good. Let me try it with myself. Let me show y'all that. Hold on. So let's see if it follows me. Real good. Hold on. But I do love that I can use this not this toggle right here to move it. I love that. But um, okay. Hold on, wait, no, I wasn't trying to. Um, uh, oh, press it once. Okay. So now, let's see if it follows me. Oh, it's, wait, I don't even press nothing and it's following me. <laughs> Hi! Do y'all see it moving? Y'all see y'all? Oh, there I go. See? But now, I'm back, I'm back right here. I'm right here. You don't see me? My face right here. <laughs> I'm right here, boo-boo. Okay, there you go. There you go, I'm right here. Love it. That way when I'm vlogging and y'all can't see me or something, it'll follow me. Instead of me having to keep turning the camera. I love that. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show y'all how it worked, y'all. I love it. I really do like it. But my main thing was forgetting it was like, say for instance, I'm in a store or something. Say for instance, let me get out of this. But you can use it. You don't have to use the camera in the, you don't have to use the camera in the app. You can use it like just your regular camera. But I love that, um, like when I'm recording or whatever, I could just use this nozzle, like if I'm in a store and I want to show something, and I could just use that, so it could be smooth instead of me having me having to use my hand, you know. So yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys that I showed y'all the unboxing for it. You are a content creator and you are interested in it because. We are all about bettering our content. And I also like to say, okay, because one thing that I hate is when I'm in Target, right? And I'm trying to use my phone to vlog. And it's like, I'm trying to use my, I mean, this is still suffice. This will still be that case because I'm using my phone. But I be hating like when the phone is on a screw in tripod and it's just too much to take it off and take it back on. So, oh wait, sorry. So what I like about this is it's a magnet. Why am I saying sorry to a gimbal? But this is a magnet, so I could just take it off 
and put it back on. And it's like a strong magnet too, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, like, you know, going crazy. But another thing, y'all, I ain't show y'all this. So one of the modes down here is like a spin mode. So with this one, it's like you can get footage of where you can just go all around and it spins. You know, so you can just get creative with your footage or whatever. Yeah, so I like that. So kudos to better content. <laughs> and then when you're done with it, you just put this down. And then it turns off automatically. So cool, 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 cool. So it came with this little bag. So I'm trying to make sure that my stuff stays where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this baggie. Um, I'm actually about to go outside. And what's wrong? What's wrong? And drink my coffee before I gotta be a mother. I just put the twins down for a nap. It's 3.11. Their nap time is usually, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Their nap time is usually um 12, but since they've been going to daycare, it's changed to um two, but it's 3.12. I gave them a bath. They have been acting a boo. Khalil has been having some type of, we have to hide the lotion from him because he keeps wanting to eat it. So he ate some lotion. And now his stomach is messed up because he keep boo-booing. So I don't change his boo-boo literally. I know this is TMI, but I don't change it like five times a day. And it's only 312. So I just gave him a bath and he I had to change him again because he used the bathroom. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm drained. Like this is gonna be a rough time. I'm trying my best. I know people like, but they your kids. Listen, until you dealt with twin toddlers, I don't want to hear, by yourself, I don't want to hear nothing. Because if you have, then you understand. It's a lot. Um, I'm just tired. Like, I just want to lay down. But I really need to start. They still crying. But for right now, I'm thinking my uploads should be on Monday. I'm trying to figure out how I can balance everything and make it like good for me you know what i'm saying easier for me sound smart for me because i would love to upload vlogs on sunday however it's gonna kind of be hard to upload on sunday if i really am not gonna have time to sit the only way that it will be feasible for me to upload Sunday is if I vlog like a weekend in advance. So like say for instance, I was vlogging this weekend and then I wouldn't put it up until next Sunday. But trying to vlog the weekend of and then upload it that Sunday is not gonna happen because it, just like today it's three o'clock. I would have not had any time to sit down and be able to edit <clears throat> dealing with them. 
so that way I will be able to edit during the week when they're in daycare and then I can schedule it to upload on Sunday I'm still trying to figure it out you guys that's my goal for this week going into December to figure out an actual schedule that works for me um because like I told y'all I do want to start uploading videos on their channel too so I got to figure out what day will be feasible for that because I don't want to upload on my channel and their channel both on Sunday. So I just have some things that I need to figure out, but I didn't want to keep leaving y'all hanging on like, where is he been? Like, you know what I'm saying? So this video kind of been all over the place y'all, but we trying to get there. Like right now I really need to clean up down here. Like it just look a mess y'all. It's just, as I look around, it's just stuff everywhere and i would love to vlog that for y'all but it's just i like i told myself that i'm not trying to portray anything on my vlog that i'm not doing in real life and like right now i don't know if i'm about to go lay down or if i'm about to clean up so um I, of course i didn't vlog i mean i didn't decorate the tree yet y'all the decorations are still in the box because i can't do nothing with them like i just can't i just cannot do anything but what I was telling y'all was that this room, this front room, and here, this room, sorry, this room is definitely going to be made into a playroom. As y'all see, all they toys is over there. These are clothes that I went through in my oldest kid's room um, that need to go in my trunk so I could put it in the little donation box. But yeah, but this room... This is gonna be their playroom. They, they the twins did this, y'all, and they spilled some Gatorade on the floor, so I gotta clean that up. But this is going to be their playroom. I'm gonna make this into their playroom. Like it would be a good room to do so because we don't use this room for anything other than if we have like events at the house and stuff. Like I kind of set up in here, but it's not like yeah <laughs> it's, it's like i don't have that many events to just be dedicating this room to like an event room you know and the age that the twins is now they're about to be three in february y'all i have to confine them to a space i cannot do this <laughs> i cannot so right now first things first is we need to find a baby gate to go right here this is kind of like a normal doorway so that wouldn't be too hard but this one is not really a normal doorway it's very wide so the ones that i saw online they're like a hundred and something so i just we just need to measure find a gate because my goal is to put a gate right here and to put a gate right here so they can't get out of course we're gonna have to find a gate that's high enough and sturdy enough that they won't be able to just knock it down because those are some little terrorists <laughs> and they're escape artists so they will find a way to get out but my goal is either to i don't know if i'm gonna put the tv in this corner or this corner but it's definitely gonna be on this side because on this side i want to have like them a little couch and like a, a desk i went to ikea and seen some things i need to get some storage units a lot of these toys are going to be thrown away now that christmas is about to come because let me sit down for a minute y'all because i'm tired i'm gonna sit on this trampoline I was telling their dad that um he was saying like what were we gonna do for them for christmas and i don't even know if i want to go all out for i say this every year and <laughs> every year i still be doing a lot but i'm not trying to create a habit to feel like where which because it's already been created a habit for a lot of people where we feel like christmas come and we have to do this extravagant thing for our kids because it's christmas and society has taught us that we're supposed to be buying these gifts and doing this that and the third which i like buying gifts and giving them because that's just my love language like i love giving gifts but i like as far as the twins they really don't even know what's going on probably kaylani more than khalil khalil just be in his own little vibe y'all but and kaylani really don't understand the factor of like oh it's christmas or oh it's my birthday she be saying yeah, happy birthday just on a random tuesday she know the song but she don't understand what it is you know so i was saying that since their christmas is in december and then their birthday is in february i was like maybe for christmas we really don't have to go all out for them maybe like buy a couple of things for them to open um i know that their dad said that they wanted he wanted to get them a tablet because 
Kehlani is so into like educational games now. So she definitely need a tablet and we want to get Khalil one also. He's not really into the games yet. He just want to watch videos and stuff. But also just a little update on the twins. Because I told y'all I really wasn't going to be like talking about the twins too much on the channel. But because I'm going to get them their own channel. However, y'all know before I was telling y'all that Khalil was going to speech therapy. And... um he does he have an appointment with a developmental pediatric so we could just see like how we can help him progress because Kehlani is talking right now Khalil is not talking and I just want you know as a mom I just want to make sure that he's okay I know every child has their own schedule of their own developments and everything like that so I'm not trying to put on him too much that oh like something is wrong even though you know, it does worry me because Kehlani is just like, y'all, she talks a lot. And Khalil, he hasn't started talking yet. Um, he does make noises and I can see that he's trying to form words, but he just hasn't talked. So he has an appointment um, the beginning of next year in January for that. Um, but I said that to say as far as a tablet, I don't even know if he would be interested in educational games right now like when Kehlani's playing them he likes to like push the screen and like pop the balloons and stuff but like she actually knows like what to do and I think he just has fun like touching the screen um but either way we're gonna both get them both a tablet because if he if she has one he's gonna keep one to take hers and then she'll have a fit yada 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 so that's that um so we're gonna transform this room a sap rocky because y'all i can't i can't do this every weekend i cannot do this every weekend this is going to be going on until next year <laughs> i can't do it i can't do it like it's it, this is only the second weekend but baby listen i'm tired like i know y'all could probably hear it tomorrow i'm just tired like i'm tired so i'm about to go ahead and um just start some laundry and everything like that y'all also i probably can start like instead of just doing weekend vlogs i could probably like just vlog during the week and upload it on the weekend i don't know we're gonna see because i'm not really gonna be doing too much on the weekends because i'm gonna be having them by myself so i don't know y'all i'm just trying to figure life out but i'm sorry for leaving y'all hanging i hope y'all understand I just got a lot going on. I really do. Um, so I'm not even going to attempt to do Vlogmas because who? Who? Baby, listen. I, I try to do Vlogtober. Uh-uh. That drink ended <laughs> quick because it was just, it's just always something. So anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if, if this is your first time here. And I will see y'all in my next video.